so let's go and change the um, uh, ip address to be static because if you just restart the machine you will get something else so i'll just log uh, i mean the ip would change and we don't want it we want a static ip so how to change it uh let's go here and say so you cannot do this uh, on the uh, operational mode you need to go into the configuration mode so you cannot say say set device config you need to first type configure and then you say set device config set system i think no set device config yeah and then system and then system then ip address ip hyphen address for ipv4 and then you change the value i mean you give the value right you see the plus sign there uh, so now let's give this an ip address say from i didn't have the num num lock pressed so i need to do the set command again set device config system ip hyphen address and then the ip address would be 192.160 something from that range only right uh something unique which is not given in the uh in your uh lan which is not taken by uh any device in your lan so how can you confirm that you can just go to your um cli on the pc and ping that ip it is before assigning to it so uh i will just say take 144 yeah and then you can say net mask and then 255.255.255.0 hit enter uh so before this uh i'll go exit and now say show interface management and you can see that ip address is still the old one so palo alto uh, before making any changes um to commit uh, to make those changes um uh uh into the running changes uh, running configuration you have to type the commit before doing any changes right but i think the configure will not, uh, commit will work in the in the configure mode so once you press the commit you need to wait here you can do the commit from here as well as from the gui and i've shown you yesterday how to change the management ip from the gui um, so you can change this from there as well uh, what i did from the cli you can always do that from the gui so that is how you make the management ip address as static and this will always remain this um, no matter how many times you change the uh, i mean reboot the virtual machine so let's you need to wait for this process to go till 100 percent and only that means that this has been committed so if you go exit and now you do the same show interface management command you should see oh okay okay yeah i i forgot one more thing by default this uh, mm, uh interface yeah is in the mode of uh, dhcp so you need to change this to static and for that you have a command of set device config uh, system and then you change the state mode mode um system and then you say let's see what's that i just forgot the command from here you change the type type to static okay so if you check the type you have static and dacp client earlier it has been by default set to dcp client you have to change it to static and now you have to go and enter the uh ip address command this one enter and then commit again so yeah just uh, don't forget the to change the type to static and then uh, enter the ip address and then commit so this is the proper step anyways i'll, I'll just uh Put these commands uh in the description of this video as well now wait for this progress to go till 100 percent and then uh, you will be able to uh access the gui on the new ip address which is 144 okay so let's go to the browser and check that or or you can also ping this ip address because the ping is by default enabled as i said ping 
HTTPS is enabled. So I can ping this IP address. That means this is now. So you cannot do this in configuration mode. You go, need to go to operational mode, show interface management. If you see, uh, this has been changed, right? You can see the 144 IP address. Now you have to go to the browser and now this will not work. So now you have to go and type the new address, which is 192.168.1.144. And this should come up again and proceed anyway. And admin and admin at the rate 123 new password that I entered and yeah we are in our uh, GUI of the Palo Alto firewall now I can just to I mean do a recap I will show you how to change it from the GUI as well the, the management interface IP address right remind me later you need to go to device tab here and then you go to the interfaces here and under setup you go to interfaces you will see the management interface here and then you click there and then here you can change the uh, ip address uh, as you can see right now you don't have any default gateways here and you can see https such as enabled so at this moment my firewall will not be able to reach to internet uh, through obviously i have only one uh, interface right now which is the management i don't have the outside or the inside right now so if i try to ping any host this will take the path through my management interface which is by default so if i do something like this this will not work yeah for this to work you have to give the management interface a default route if you want your management interface to reach to internet yeah so that is one thing to be noted and how where do you give it you give it here so this should be the ip address of your router which is 1.1 and this can be also confirmed through the uh, host machine so whatever gateway you have set on the host machine it should be the host uh, gateway on the palo alto firewall this one right so i'll click here and where to commit uh, in the gui so you can see on the top right there is a commit button just click commit and now here there are many things that i need to go through but as of now you just remember you just commit on your name and then commit so this is committing only the changes that you as an admin did not all the changes that all other admins did right so you now you wait for the progress to complete and once this is done this ping that was failing before will be successful now you wait ping host 8.8.8 .8 which is unreachable right now once this is okay you can see the pings are working now that means the commit was successful and you can see that this is almost there uh, but anyways the ping has already started working okay now that is done let's go and see so the commit is successful so that is how you specify the uh default gateway on your palo alto but now again one thing if you go here and do the uh url instead of the uh ip address this won't work because you have not set up the dns for your palo alto firewall and i will show you that in the next video uh, for now this would be it for this video and i will see you in my next video until then, bye-bye.